Welcome, everyone, to the Realm Royale update. My name is Rory, otherwise known as Dry Bear, and I am here with Mr. Jairez Erez to talk about what's coming next for Realm Royale. He's alive and well. So we have set up some um, kind of st stuff for this patch, and then we'll start doing a uh, Q&A after the fact. I'm sure a lot of people have questions around kind of where Realm Royale's at and what we're, we're doing next. Um, and then some of the things we're working on internally. So if you guys are wondering, we have kind of gone and taken a hard look at the game to try and improve some some core metrics and performance. We've seen some players kind of interacting with that um, and uh, some feedback elements that we think can make the game a lot better. Um, the first thing we talked about, which we actually did tease a little bit earlier uh, last week, is a new mode coming out called 40 vs. 40, or Realm Wars. Right, Ares? That's correct. The Realm Wars mode. Uh, so, <laughs> so Realm Wars is, uh, we really wanted to kind of create a, a match that has more of that big group environment, right? So you have like bigger teams and, and it puts less emphasis on the individual being the star to carry the match. And it becomes more of a, an almost like a war between armies. So what we've been trying to do is find the right mix between casual and competitive play for the mm -hmm. game because there are different players that want to have different experiences right. within it. So the uh, last version was the six-man uh, teams yep. to try to make it a little bit easier for the people that are brand new to the game. And um, with uh, the real intent is that we wanted to try to get to the 40 versus 40. So this is uh, showing you a little video. The two Zeppelins come from two opposing sides. Right. Uh, there's an area that was going to be kind of like the circle that it shrinks down to. And it's very simply plays the same basic way that the uh, normal mode does, except that um, you have two sides, uh, two teams. And um, you can still do the forging. You can still go and get your loot. Um, you can still resurrect in this one, I believe. You can, yeah. And... Um, and essentially, it's uh, it's going to be a little bit easier for people to pick up and play, and that's what we're hoping for. You can go into it as a solo, all the way up to a four-man team. Right. So this is and all four-man squads. So it's up, yeah, and you can decide to fill or not fill, but it'll still have about 40 on each side. So one of the things that you also see a little different here is uh, something new we changed for this version, which is the ability to separate the weapon crafting from ability crafting, right. since that's on the screen right now. Yeah, that was a big request from the community, so you'll now be able to specifically craft an ability or a weapon. Uh, it will still randomize between that type, but now you can more directly choose what you're getting, uh, what kind of item you're getting out of the forge, which makes it a little bit easier there. But you do still have the runes, the ability, the weapons, the consumables, and of course the resurrection, which does work in this mode. However, when you do the resurrection in 40 vs. 40, it will only resurrect your squad. It won't resurrect, obviously, the entire 40-man yeah. team. Uh, yeah. um, and so you'll see the two weapons on either side. You spawn. There's no respawning here. Um, so you'll just be looking to kind of get to the final circle, but you can take over the whole map and get loot and then uh, try to win. Yeah, and it, and we're hoping that um, this will be the uh, mode that the majority of players can just enjoy, be a little more relaxed in. Um, it's a little easier to escape as a chicken because usually you have more teammates, more teammates around, around you, you to protect you. But since you have a limited number of chickens, that goes away after a while as well. And um, otherwise, it's a good place to learned a lot and experienced the game with that as much pressure as it usually is. Although it gets kind of hectic. We had some crazy fights when you have 20 people on each mm -hmm. side firing at each other. It could be um, a little bit crazy. The ability usage matters a lot too so that obviously when you're starting to get these big armies fighting together, a clutch barricade or some really good proxy mines, you actually start using abilities together. So you can throw a whole bunch of proxy mines in one room and try to use some fun synergies between the way you play that you don't really see in four-man squads. Um, yeah. And then just kind of some cool army combat. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, we're all also bringing back another mode outside of 40 vs. 40. In this patch, we'll be turning on a solo queue as a separate queue along with 40 vs. 40. Yeah, so the solo queue, one, one of the issues, uh, obviously, that we have now is uh, since the player base is much lower than it was before, uh, if we have too many queues, then you're not going to get any decent matchmaking. Right. And we wanted to change some of the logic for solo queue to allow it to um, uh, have people more around your level to play with. Mm -hmm. So the solo queue will be turned on, but there are a few caveats that go along with it. There is, um, it's really not any big change to the gameplay itself, but the mode is actually on a timer, and it will be somewhere between five to 10 minutes 
that it'll be set off every time to make sure that we get a good player base. So you'll see how much time is left before it pops, and you'll know. Before it's ready. So right. you can go play. So it's not a rotating queue. Yeah, you can play the 40 versus 40 for a while or something else if you want. Yeah. And um, and what it does is then it takes a large number of people, and it separates them out more right now by the um, – the, Essentially, by their their level, right? right. Um, so you'll have more new players in the in some of the lower areas. You'll have much yep. more experienced players in the other areas. So it gives you a little bit more uh, competitive. It's not still not going to be perfect. It's not right. true matchmaking, but it helps but push it the helps. the better players away from the the newer players. And yeah, separate that out. So we're hoping that will um, give people a place to. Um, experiment with. Um, we also think it'll be kind of interesting to see how a time queue takes place because you can't just queue requeue up instantaneously mm -hmm. um, for the next one. You might want to actually try to win this much harder. Each match is that much more important months. because you have to wait maybe seven minutes to get into the next one. So you have to kind of really put a lot of emphasis in winning that match. Right. And after we see how solos goes, we'll go back and, um, and look at duos and squads mm -hmm. again. So there's going to be two modes that are available um, as soon as we go live with this. Right. Um, we're hoping to PTS tonight or tomorrow. And um, the mod mode will be the 40 versus 40, which will be much more casual. And then solo for the people that want to have a real competitive, competitive. experience. Yeah, so that's kind of a, a good split there and really helps kind of if you're looking for that solo experience. And we've seen a lot of feedback from the community asking for that mode to come back. Um, and again, to reiterate, I see some questions in chat right now. Uh, this will actually be four man squads, 40 versus 40, not six. And then solo will obviously right. just be single queue. So that's right. just going to be separation there. Um, so you guys already saw that we did separate out the weapons and the abilities in the forge. We also do have some other cleanups coming in there as well. Uh, common move abilities will now drop again. So you actually will start seeing more, co more movement abilities throughout the match. I uh, saw some fun memes on the Reddit um, about the movement abilities and where they come out. So you'll actually be able to get those a little bit easier. Yeah, so one of the issues before is uh, common abilities, and probably more by mistake than anything else, so maybe it was my mistake, <laughs> uh, were not dropping uh, on the common level, the right. movement abilities. So um, it was much harder to get some starting mm -hmm. movement abilities, and now you should be able to find them much more easily, at least on the common level. Right. Just kind of walking around, you'll actually get more of them popping up in the world. Um, and then we also did make another change as well. Uh, weapons can now go into either slot, so any weapon can go into any slot, so you actually can kind of determine what combination of weapons you want. We tried some options where uh, weapon types were slotted to a specific one, so you don't have to actually choose what slot it is. It simplifies the equipping process, but we found that just the freedom of being able to pick whichever weapon you want, what combination works yeah. best. Yeah, we're hoping to make it a little easier on people to um, just pick up a weapon and have it in a slot, but it didn't seem to add a lot of high value adds, so we mm -hmm. moved it back to um, choose the weapon and to the slot it goes into. Right. And um, one of the things that we're actually looking forward to is over the next few weeks, trying to come up with some more interesting creative weapons to add to the game, so you have more experiences than, um, other than the things that you're already used to at this point. Right. New content. Um, we will also uh, made some adjustments to the environment. So we actually um, uh, we actually did get some feedback that the Jade Gardens area, the Oriental area um, in the bottom right side of the map, uh, was a little bit too elevated. It made it tough to kind of land on it and actually to climb it up when you're on Mount as well. Uh, so we actually lowered the elevation on Jade Gardens some to kind of even it out with some of the cliffs that were there. Uh, it also made some situations um, from the combat standpoint where you were having to aim up at a very harsh angle to fight people that are on top of Jade Gardens. So lowering that down means it's a little bit more reasonable angle uh, to be fighting players that are up there. So that'll clean up there. And also some new um, environment assets that are really cool being put in the map as well. So now give you some termite mounds out in the desert area. There are bigger cactus, some big, cool, juicy cactuses put in there, um, and some extra wagons, some other detailing and stuff like that. So it's some big, uh, you know, some nice, nice improvements on the environment side that add some cool new assets and some cool new art to look at um, that just kind of makes the, the game look and feel cooler. All right. Um, so we have those changes there. We also do have a little bit of a reveal for the world and the lore itself. Yeah. Well, one of the things that we want to do is just explain what's going on in the game a little bit more. Why are you fighting? So, so this will be an introduction when people start the game, but we figured we should just show the video a little earlier sure. for people to see here. Are you ready to see it? Yeah. All right, let's play it. To think the realm calls this war. It has not suffered true devastation. A darkness looms, spreading terror in its wake. In this realm, it stands little chance. But perhaps, perhaps. 
grips with ancient weapons and magic, sourced from across the universe. This realm may yet survive. You must train, wage war, and crown the champions that will withstand the darkness. There is still hope, but the realm's fate is in your hands. So what do you guys think of lore? It's lore. It's lore. So the darkness is coming, um, but obviously these weapons are very, very powerful, and you kind of have to find the right people to use them. They can, not, not anyone can go pick up these powerful, great weapons. Um, and so that's kind of where the, the war that's happening on this island is coming from, right, is determining the best combatants to use these, these great, great weapons. Sounds about right. All right. There it is. Uh, well, let's go ahead and open it up to questions. If you guys have any questions for us in chat. We can see we can see you down here on the monitor. The powerful shotgun. Can we get the PVE when we are ready? Well, first I can't read that far, so you're gonna have to read. Yeah, someone read asked if there's questions. gonna be any PVE coming. Um, not anytime soon that we know of. Okay. So, uh, see a question on six man squads. There will be four man squads for 40 versus 40, and then there will be a solo uh, coming in this next patch. So, no six man squads, at least on this launch. Right. Now, what about duos? Well, we want to put duos back in. It's just a matter of um, some population, of course. But what we may do is alternate the time cues between duos and solos to give uh, both an opportunity. But then it just okay. means that we have to separate the times for each particular one apart some more. So we're going to take a look at that and hopefully okay. turn it around very soon. So starting with solos and then looking at options to in integrate duos. Let's see. Another question on console? Console, um, all the work is still being done. Mm -hmm. And really what we're waiting for is to get to the point where we're happy with the um, state of the game. Yep. And then go on the console. So as long as we're still tweaking things, we're um, still waiting on console, but it should be um, moving along relatively quick now that we're kind of settling down on the, um, the speed that we're changing things. Now what about Battle Pass 2? Um, what about Battle Pass 2? You tell me. Well, I think Battle Pass 2 are mostly holding off until we get to um, the till we get to the console, basically. Okay. So there's good timing for that, and that's also why we put in the content where you can get the chicken uh, nuggets chicken and nuggets. purchase a variety of uh, cosmetics with it, and we'll be adding some more to that to give people more uh, reason to go and, and grind for those uh, beautiful cosmetics. Okay. When is PTS just came up? If it works, then tonight. And if we have too many bugs, then it will be tomorrow. What weapon was the wizard in the video holding? He was holding a few different weapons, I think. Wasn't he was. He? he had a machine gun on his back. Yeah. Might be some uh, some spoilers there, but yeah, we are going to be looking at uh, adding new weapons coming up in uh, future patches, getting more yeah. content in there. And one of the things that, that we want to do is uh, make sure that there's enough variety that's kind of interesting versus just um, a variation on an existing type of weapon. Sure. So more weapons that do additional things. Like the longbow or the stone spear, more unique or even kind more of play style. Or even more creative stuff than that. Yeah. yeah. I, have, I have a few interesting ideas. Uh, one of the things that we'll also look for with the weapons, because we know, I know we took out one of the abilities that a lot of people like to have the additional ability slots, but both it's both bad for console players and it was confusing for um, most players except for the hardest core players, just uh, the number of buttons. But what we will look at is having some weapons where the um, alt fire is not necessarily just a zoom, but we'll do something else. So you'll kind of have potentially an ability that goes along with a weapon. Right. Right. And that may create additional variation. So like an assault rifle for. with an underslung grenade launcher or something like something that. Something like that. Right. C right could so work it's, out. it's on the weapon. It's not a third ability, but it does actually function like the fire bomb yeah. or something like so that. So in essence, you could get to a point where you even have four abilities kind of, right? right. And two weapons just by um, using ones with the old fire being But they uh, just come different. with the weapon. Yes. Yeah. But it'll create a lot more variation. I see a lot of questions around three abilities that kind of touches that a little bit. Yep. So you'll have four abilities, potentially. Ba boom Nuggets auto-pickup? Nuggets auto-pickup. Yep, yeah, that's in. 
that's something I didn't see on the list, but a few people asked about that. Yep, so that one's in there. Your nuggets will be automatically collected now. Yeah, you can um, you can have any any weapon combination. Yeah. So the question is, uh, yeah. is there any? Can you use two class weapons like a stone spear and a longbow? Uh, there's no distinction between weapons right now. You can put any combination you want. You can do longbow and stone spear, sniper rifle and shotgun. Uh, you just put whatever two you like. Uh, if you want sword and shotgun, you can do that. If you want to kind of be really close range, that's all up to you. Mm -hmm. When are the tournaments coming back? Um, actually, I think we're. Plan to bring them back sometime fairly soon. Okay. It was basically once the solos and duos are back in mm -hmm. in a in a safe state, then we will turn on at least the all weekly ones that uh, the ten thousand weekly tournament is we will look turn back on. Let's see any other questions? Dual wheel swords. That'd sure. Cool. A lot of questions on classes. So far, we're sticking with the pick up anything you want, build your and, own class, and and go fight with it. What other questions do you have? People asking for squads. Squads will come back again on a rotating queue, so it'll just depend on the timing we want to put between the queues. Okay. There's a question around being able to start with a movement ability versus finding one in the world. Well, let's see how this patch does where you can find them much more easily. Mm -hmm. So if you're finding the first one pretty quickly, it's probably not going to be as much of an issue. Sure. But we do want to try to start with nothing just to see how that works out. You, find, you, you, you react with what you find, right? It's kind of the, the beauty of the Battle right. Royale genre. Right. Okay. Any other questions? Post it up in chat. A rating reset, that's a good question. Um, at some point, we will look back at the ranking and modify it. At that point, we may do some sort of reset and give a reward to people who have earned sure. um, Got to something a certain high. Rank. But um, right now, that's not uh, that's not as high of, of uh, importance. Sure. All right, guys, that'll do it for us here. Again, we are looking to uh, put this on PTS uh, as soon as we can. It'll be tonight or tomorrow, depending on how things go. And by go. the way, I did see, we are working on new abilities as well. New abilities new we weapons. we want to introduce with new weapons. So um, that's something you should expect over the next few weeks. Sweet. New content. Uh, we'll be posting up the details a little bit later, and we'll actually have that lore video up on social media soon as well if you're curious to watch it yourself. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for your time. Thank you.